The president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Akinwomi Adeshino, advocates for renaming Nigeria to the United States of Nigeria to foster a more cooperative relationship between state and the central government. Uh, he made this statement during the 2024 Bafumi Awolo Prize for Leadership Lecture. Adeshino highlights the importance of devolving economic and fiscal powers to the states or regions to enhance their viability and strengthen the federation. He also stressed that the urgent need for Nigeria's restructuring emphasizing that it should be driven by economic and financial viability rather than political expediency. He points out that Nigeria has faced one of the world's highest implicit tax rates due to inadequate government services, highlighting the importance of decentralizing governance to empower state to provide better services autonomously. Okay, we have with us in the studio Mr. Akin Fatuke and joining us virtually is uh, Mr. Mokhtar Muhammad. And now to you, Mr. Akin, uh, what do you make of uh, Mr. Additional statement saying that we need to turn Nigeria to the United States of Nigeria? Change management is always a fair. Should we change, will you not change? You, you keep on being afraid of wanting to try some change and then you keep on expecting different results. I also think that it's um, well overdue. Another way of looking at restructuring, renaming, remodeling Nigeria, no. again, that is not working. What really is in the name? We can say, how, can't we have the federal, the federal Republic and still you know, put things in order? Unfortunately, we not a federal republic. It so is what not. do we have? If not, we have a country have called a Nigeria. Country. We are not practicing federalism. Doctor, I think my additional was very clear in his developmental welfare orientation, and we've done this for over sixty years. We have regressed backwards. It is not only just the name of Nigeria. I have always said that part of the restructuring we should be thinking about is that when we see something black, let's call it black. We can't be saying it is some other colors when it is not what it is. Nigerian police force. Why should it be Nigerian police force? Still dovetailing with what uh, the colonial masters gave us. Go out there and go and suppress them by force. Everything is by force. And up till now, you must have to try and force things. The Nigerian policing should be intelligence-based. So, Dr. Adeshino was very clear. The relational confine that we found ourselves, Moses seems to be going there. What is in a name? A name is exactly what you call it. It's your identity. It's the identity. Is showing us the wrong identity. Have somebody out there as the commander in chief and president at the local levels, yes, you have, I'm sorry, I mean, at the state levels, you have the governor and all that. Very, very expensive, and people are not relating. The Labour Congress will be on strike. We just had a discussion about governors and you know the incumbent governors and their predecessors always fighting here and there cost of governance is too expensive and people are not able to relate when we devolve it's a form of restructuring let the power go to the states and then the federal will now be given support that is the way it should be okay um, so that was the way it was under the parliamentary system and we have just seen all that and here we are, here we are at. I believe that there's so much in a name. Okay. I believe by what you are called, if somebody calls you a thief, you know how that is going to hit you if you are not. Because somebody has stolen in this environment, you are not a thief. Well, you just have to continue to look like one. No, let's have United States of Nigeria, where we all go at a different paces, Look at things differently. So if you have your allocation as in Bauchi State, you can take 2.5 billion of that to send people on pilgrimage. That is, that's your choice. 
you could look at it again as we mentioned in Gombe. You are not generating <coughs> enough to even keep you on top of it. And then that is the time you want to spend 15 billion. If that is the way you want to do it, so be it. Right. Okay. So you should not be running to the center and just waiting at the end of each bond. No work, but you just get... And then it becomes very, very unfortunate in the sense that uh, those who work, so we all work and get back. We have to find a way to spread it to people who don't even believe that they should take vats, say on tobacco, say on, on spirits. So, we keep on matching that same spot, digging it deep. Let's go at our different places and development. Mm -hmm. If I see Moses, I do not have any reason why I should be calling him a transgender until he proves himself on the way. He's a man. That's a He's a man. A He's a man. Analogy. And if I see Pina, I will say, look, I'm, no matter how you want to put I'm yourself and say, you are a humanist. Yes, you are a human, but first of all, you are a woman. Let's call it exactly the way it is so that we can right, move forward. Then. All right, Mr. Mokhtar, <laughs> now to you. Um, this is not the first time people have been calling for change in governance in Nigeria. We have some people who also suggested we should practice a parliamentary system of government. In Nigeria. Now with tradition not coming up to say we need to call or we need to change Nigeria to be the United States of Nigeria, saying that the fulcrum will be the state and uh, you know uh, the, the federal government who, or the, the Abuja now will now be the one that you know will be overseeing little of how the affairs are. Whereas, so supporting them. Yeah, supporting them. Thank you, Mr. Akin. Whereas the state to provide everything that they need. What do you make of that statement? Uh, I, I, you know, um, when you see a senior colleague like chief in the studio telling you some of these things, I, um, we did not live to see parliamentary as part of government. Uh, we, did, we didn't see it. So they saw it and they see, but we still see um, um, value in what we are doing now. Let me just be, far, be, be Trump be blunt here. I slight, like chief slightly disagree with me. I think I slightly disagree with him somehow. Uh, the challenge we have as a country is not in the name that we carry. It's just like an individual. You know, in Nigeria, we are very spiritual. You are very dull. You don't read. You, are, you don't work hard. Then they say, why are you not making? You say, because uh, your great father uh, name was Shongo. He worshiped one uh, herbalist in the village. And so that course is following you. That's why you are not making it. So you have to change the name from Songu before you can make it. Meanwhile, there's another person in your family that is still bearing Songu. And it's also doing very well. So it's not in the name. It's, it's, it's in the character of the people. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen somebody bearing Moses, yet he's an arm robber. <laughs> um, it's, it's not, um, sorry, not many Moses in the studio. Sorry, I'm not, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. fine. It's okay. I, I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't have used that. I no, that's, that's, because, that's okay. Because that's Chief okay. was talking about Moses. Moses so that, that's why I'm going back to that name, Moses. Sorry. Let me use on that name. Somebody bearing Samuel. And is 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 supposed to be the son of the prophet, and yet is also um, somebody that is is a criminal. So the problem is not in the name for Nigeria. Nigerian problem mm. is not in the name. Mm. It's not like when people say Nigeria. Nigeria is not devoid of documents. We have had documents upon documents. Have we been able to even implement the current document that we have? Yeah. When you talk about state, when Mr. President came into power, he he said the first part of the first bill he signed was the. Um, the making it, I think I forgot it. it it's about the power bill that make each state to generate their own power. Up to today, we state that before then they were clamoring for it. It has been signed into the law now. No state have de developed a single, a single power into the national grid or supply to its own people. Like they were clamoring for decentralized. We want to be providing power for our people. So the problem with Nigeria. It's not because there's no document. Every state is supposed to be independent. The only place that the states are not really independent is when it comes to security. Running the Fidibotu federalism, like a Kurumadu normally call it, is a choice. Let's give an instance. Lagos State is where it is today because at a point they were deprived federal allocation. And they begin to think inwardly and they begin to generate revenue. So the problem with whether you call it United States of Nigeria, whether you call it Federal Republic of Nigeria, whether you call it um, Southwest, now Central, yeah, that's not the problem. Mm. The right. problem is not in the name. The problem is in the character of the leaders we produce and the character of the people that are, are in Nigeria. All right. okay. So 
we need to begin to look at restructure. When you see them talk about restructuring, I need to make it clear. And I, 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 maybe Chief might have a different opinion or might agree with me. When you see Nigerian politicians talk about restructuring, they are talking about power. Mm. They are not talking about economic restructuring. They are not talking about pros prosperity for its people, security for their people. They are thinking of power. The restructuring they have is uh, how much can I control in my state, in my region? How powerful am I? So when the time you give us that restructuring, I become this in my region. I become the power broker. They are not looking at, oh, because when we restructure, my region is going to be one of the best regions in Nigeria and we are going to have sound education. No, that's not what they are looking at. So okay. until we see somebody that comes out and begin to look at economic restructuring, which is the key to governance, there's only two reasons why I want governance, security and prosperity. So if all this restructuring is not tied around me being secure, me being prosperous, I don't think it's worth the fight. Okay, now I'm still going to stay with you. Um, in what ways could restructuring, I mean restructuring Nigeria now, along uh, the lines of federal system of government, improve economic and financial viability in states you see, the challenge is that this this so-called what they call the concurrent list which says that any any resources in a state is not owned by states okay you remember the resource control incident that was led by the then governor of Bon state Obon victor attack yeah. that's why we now have the offshore onshore 14 percent derivation if you is it 13 percent even those 13 percent how much has it done for a state like Bayesa state that still have no roots that's why having 13 percent derivation form so that's why so it, 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 there are those links for that now we have solid we, we, national assembly have created solid mineral developing states how much have they been able to produce to even develop rather it has become a headquarter of banditry mm. so that's why i'm saying that we just say things because we want to see the the, the economic gain to us so when I'm talking about restructuring, until restructuring starts with the economic power of a state, like Chief said, why should I be paying value added tax? I pay value added tax on the, you collect value added tax on alcohol, and you say on your television screen, on your billboard, you don't want alcohol advertised, but when they profit from alcohol, you will sell from it. Why? So those are part of the things that we need to begin to look at. There's no state in Nigeria that does not have a particular mineral resources to sustain itself. I can tell you. Hmm. All they need to do, then they need to look inwardly. Okay. Today, United Arab Emirates, they don't produce anything. They made themselves a hub of development. Everybody wants to hold seminar. Everybody wants to hold program there. So it's not every state that we need mineral. Some state will just make themselves a hub of development. Right. Create tourism. Chief is talking about Bauchi State. Bauchi State, before now, we used to have the Yankari Game Reserve. Yeah. Instead of mm. the governor to be think of how he can put 14 billion into Yankari Game Reserve, he's looking at how he can use that to send pilgrimage abroad. So that's to tell the people that we put in governance are not, are not the people that are thinking inwardly. All right, All right. talking about uh, people that we put in governance now, to you, Mr. Akin Fatunke. When uh, Bishop Kuka was giving his Easter speech, he made mention of uh, the Nigerian, uh, let's say, the, the, the leaders we have in the country. You know, moving around like uh, men uh, drunken to, uh, you know, stupor. Let me, that, that was actually his word. That was what Bishop Matik said. Now, looking at the, the way the, the Nigerian economy is going and the way it's more like uh, we're having misplaced priority, how do you think, what line do you think we need to talk to make sure we, you know, we harness the, the economic issues we're having in Nigeria to have a, a prosperous one? By embracing the truth, seeing it exactly as it is. No sugar coating. Mukhtar just mentioned it. Character. I go and I watch football matches, and then sometimes I look at the um, Jesse, some players are putting. Sometimes I see Jesus. Sometimes I see Muhammad. I have never seen Satan. I haven't <laughs> seen Satan. Many people very, very close to me that I love very well, their name is Moses. By the way, that's my baptismal name. Okay. Oh, oh. Ah, what a revelation. <laughs> <laughs> David, it is cultural. And not just it's cultural, from my culture, some other people may not see it from that culture. 
They say the name you give a particular child is what that child will be. So that's why you now have precious. You have promise. But you now have to now fire it, like Muta quite rightly said. So we don't have a Moses who becomes an arm robber. Mm. My own type of Moses, not oh, your own. <laughs> okay, who becomes an arm robber. <laughs> or a Fina who now becomes something else. Mm. Restructuring is, yes, in the way we say we are Federal Republic of Nigeria, we have continued to lie to ourselves. Mm. But that is not what we are. Really, development should go to the local governments, should go to the states. All the tiers of government should be filling, should be filling in, and not the other way around. The re relational, and which is what Akiomi um, Additional was saying today, if something happens in Kuala Namoda, if something happens in um, um, anywhere in uh, Abakaliki. Oh, no, it should be the other way around. And when you make it the other way around, we all Correctly. know we all we all have our destinies in our hand. We must say, and uh, then we now is, restructure is, okay, economically so that if you do not produce, we I'm cannot, sorry, you cannot uh, eat. All right, then. Well, this is where we have to wrap up this conversation. We must say a very big thank you to you, Mr. Akin Fatunke, who is an economist and also a communication consultant. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you very much. Please always remember to add Moses to my oh. name. <laughs> <laughs> I will think of changing my own name as well. <laughs> well, we must also thank uh, Mr. Mukhtar Mohammed, financial analyst. Thank you very much for your time and your thoughts. Thank you for having me, Chief. Thank you. Thank right, you, then. Mukhtar. Salute All right, yourself. then. So we'll take a break now. When we come back, we'll be uh, going on YouTube to take um, your reaction. And then uh, we'll delve into business, entertainment, and sports after that. Stay with us.